Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat and welcome to our Sunday worship service. We are so blessed to praise, worship, and listen to God's word with you this day. Nang dahil sa pandemya, maraming pananampahan ang nagsara at maraming ministeryo ang mahito. Maraming kinakailang adjustments at dapat matutunan sa paggamit ng teknolohiya upang patuloy na makapagbahagi ng salita ng Diyos. Ngunit sa kabila nito, ang paglilingkod sa Diyos ay hindi kailanman naging hadlang o naging pasakit, kundi nag-alis ng lungkot, bagabag, at kawalan ng gana sa Panginoon. Naging susi pa nga ito para mas mapalalim ang ating relasyon sa mga kasamahan sa simbahan, lalo na ang ating ugnayan sa ating Panginoon. Ika nga sa 1 Corinthians 15-15, Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, we stand firm. Let nothing move. Give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Walang sayang at walang hindi sa mga taong naglilingkod sa ating Panginoon. That's why before we start, allow us to introduce and encourage you to join and be part of our ministry. Ikaw ba ay pati ng kabataan ng mga pang-at-age or young at heart? Malugod ka namin inaanayahan na samaan kami sa ating Pulse Worship Service Online. Tuwing linggo, alas 7 ng gabi para magpuri, magsamba at makinig sa mensahe ng ating mga youth leaders para maging updated, like at i-message ang ating Facebook page, facebook.com slash Pulse Maritina. Gamitin natin ang hashtag Pulse Youth Service Pulso para sa kabataan. Kung kayo ay may puso, passion, talento sa pag-i-edit at pagtuturo sa mga bata, kayo ay aming inaanyayahan sa Seeds of Life. Ito ay ministeryo para sa mga bata edad tatlo hanggang labing apat upang makilala at mas mapalapit sa ating Panginoon. Samahan na tulungan niyo kami gumawa ng mga fun and exciting activities para sa kanya. For it is written in Proverbs 22 verse 6, Bring up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from him. For more information, maaari niyo pong hanapin si Ms. Jessica Pleopas. Seeds of Life, training the next generation. Ikaw ay malugod namin inaanayahan na samahan kami sa aming prayer works every Tuesday and Friday upang ipag-pray ng ating kapatidad, ang ating kansa, our current and future leaders, at ang lalimunan ng pandemic na ating pinakaharap. Maaari nang magpanood ng live kung ano siya ay nanggagay sa ating Facebook page, facebook.com slash WLCMRTNC. It is said in Philippians 4.6, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. God bless you. Do you feel that sa mensahe ng ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng ating pastor every Sunday worship, Tuesday and Friday prayer works, at nais mo pong ibahagi sa pamamagitan ng social media? Ikaw ay aming inaanyayahan sa mali sa social media and creative arts ministry. Ito ay ministeryos na nalagi nagbabahagi ng salita ng Diyos sa ating mga kapatiran nationwide and worldwide. If you have the heart, look for me, Miss Denise Tapos, for it is said in Mark 16.15, Go into the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Social media and creative ministry. Wag mula sa rinini, create it, post it, and share it. Meron ka bang talento o at interesado ka pa sa paggamit ng computer, lighting, sound, and live streaming? At gusto mo rin magpagamit sa Panginoon sa pamagitan ng mga ito? We invite you to join the dynamic ministry. Sa ministry na ito ay minamanis natin ang technical side ng ating worship service sa physical man o online. Sabi nga sa Ephesians 3 verse 7 which I was made a ministry of Mr. according to the gift of God's grace was given to me according to the working of His power. So kung ikaw ay interesado, hanapin mo na ako para sa lahat ng mga Education is the key to success. Mahirap mag-aral, pero mas mahirap ang walang pinag-aralan. Kaya kung kayo ay hindi ko na tumulong sa ating mga less fortunate youth na makatapos ng kanilang pag-aaral, you are very welcome to join and be part of our crossover ministry. Ang ministeryong ito ay tinatagpa noong 2012 at patuloy na tumutulong sa ating mga kapatiran na academic challenge. 
Gaya nga ng sabi sa Hebrews 6.20, For He will not forget your work and the love you have for me, as you have helped His people and continue to help them. Para sa mga may pusong gusto maging parte ng ministerio nito at handang magpagamit financially para sa ating mga kapatiran, just look for Miss Jubilin or Miso for more info. Worshiping is an inward feeling and outward action. Kaya naman kung ito ay may talento sa pagtutok ng iba't ibang instrument at pagkanta upang maging katungang mga ating mga worship leader to lead the congregation to worship and praise God every Sunday, we would be glad to invite you to join us sa ating frontline WNC Marikina Music Ministry. For more information, just look for Ms. Justine Rabasto. Together, let us make joyful noises unto the Lord.
ako'y magsasaya sa piling ko. Kung may pagsubok pa, huwag kagipitan, ako ay may lalapitan. Ikaw, Jesus, ang aking sandigan, hindi mo ko pababayaan. Di ko kaya isipin, hindi hindi ko kaya sundakin. Ang pag-ibig mo, Jesus, na iyong pinigay sa akin.
at yung kagalingan, Lord God Jesus, ng bayan namin, ng mga taong nagkakasakit, Lord God. It is possible in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I just want to declare, Lord God, na yung healing mo, hindi lang siya matatapos sa kalusugan, but Lord, in every aspects of our lives, so God Jesus, even our character as your children, oh God Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just in you. 
name, Father God, Jesus. For those, oh God, Jesus, who claim, oh God, that they were healed, that they were be blessed, oh God, Jesus, will receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The splendor of a king. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord God, Jesus, Ama, sa araw na ito, sa iyong presensya, sa iyong musika, sa iyong pagmamahal. Salamat sa everyday grace, mercy, Lord God, sa bawat buhay, kalakasan mo, God, Jesus, Lord God, na patuloy mong pinaparanas sa bawat isa, sa bawat membro ng WLCM Marquina, hanggang sa main, Lord God, hanggang sa buong uh, WLCM Father God, Jesus, Lord, salamat. Salamat, Lord God, Jesus, Lord God, that there is social media at platform, Lord God, to speak about your gospel, your words to which we follow, God. Lord, salamat. Salamat, Lord God, Jesus, na napakabuti mo, napakatapat mo, napakagalik mo po, Lord God, Jesus, kumanaw sa bawat buhay ng bawat tao, Lord God. Oh, God, Jesus, Lord, salamat. We just want to declare how good, how great, how mighty you are, oh God, Jesus, Lord God. Na pwedeng magtiwala, pwede, Lord God, Jesus, makasumpong, pwede, Lord God, Jesus, magpatuloy, oh God. Kahit anong problema, oh God, and Lord, salamat. Salamat sa iyong takilang pangalan, oh God, Jesus. Salamat, Ama, oh God, Jesus. Bawat isa ay nasa maayos, mabuting kanalagayan. Hindi lamang po yun ang personal kong prayer, kundi kasama po nagpipre dito ang lahat ng mga intercessors po natin sa WC Marikina. Dinagdagan po natin yung prayer na nasa maayos tayong kanalagayan. May dinagdag po kami yung triple S at yun yung pong gusto ng Diyos sa bawat isa. Regardless kung taga WC Marikina ka, or WLC Masahon or ikaw ay naglilingkod sa Diyos this, this is our prayers triple S success, significance and security in other words, a prayer namin you would become a person that God wants you to be we miss you so much and we love you at higit sa lahat mahal na mahal kayo ng Panginoon Now, since today is the first Sunday of the month, it is our culture to pray and recognize lahat ng mga birthday celebrants sa buwan ng May and also yung mga nag-celebrate ng kanilang mga wedding anniversaries, happy wedding anniversaries. At sa kabilitid, uh, uh, happy birthday sa lahat ng mga nag-birthday sa buwan ng April. Kung ikaw ang tinutukoy ko, your birthday is in the month of May and your wedding anniversary ay sa buwan ng Mayo, I would like to pray for you that God ay hindi lamang i-guide tayo kundi unti-unti God will bring you to the place that God wants you to be. Can you close your eyes? Our loving and perfect Heavenly Father, we pray Lord for the people that nag-celebrate kanilang makarawan at wedding anniversaries that you would continuously bless them so that their lives will be 
a blessing beyond their families, especially during this pandemic, Lord. Open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing upon them. And make them a person that you want them to be, a couple that you want them to be, so that Christ will be glorified more and more. Give them breakthrough upon breakthrough, victory upon victory. I pray for significance, security, and success. This is for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Again, happy birthday and happy wedding anniversaries and also bilipid sa lahat ng mga nag-birthdays sa buwan ng April. By next Sunday ay Mother's Day na. So gusto namin ipagpipray next Sunday ang lahat ng mga mothers. Hindi lamang sa Words of Life Marikina kundi Words of Life as a whole. Welcome po at nais kong i-welcome ang Words of Life family. Nais ko pong i-welcome ang lahat ng mga partners po natin na nagsishare po sa lahat ng mga gawain natin. Whether Friday Prayer Works, Tuesday Prayer Works, Nuggets of Truth, Sunday Kids Church at sa Kapals Marikina. Nais ko din pong i-welcome ang lahat ng mga tag Words of Life Luzon. Isaias at Mindanao. Salamat sa lahat na nagdadasal, sa lahat na sumusuporta sa Words of Life. Because of you, we move forward, not just uh, survive, but by the grace of God, we thrive because of your support, whether your time, talent, and treasure, and most especially, your prayer for us. Thank you, thank you very much. Gusto kong pasalamatan lahat na leaders po natin dito sa Words of Life Marikina. Yung membership, yung maturity, yung management, yung magnification, yung prayer works, yung technical, creative arts, and social media na araw-araw sila po ang nagpo-post doon sa napili nilang sa tingin nila, yun yung mensahe ni Lord for that particular day. Friends, hindi po ako yun. Yung social media department natin ng creative arts, sila si Sir Winzy, si Ma'am Denise, at saka technical si Sir Lawrence. Thank you, thank you so much. Friends, ang dami nating naabot. And by the grace of God, ang dami na encourage, na strengthen na inspire dahil sa ginawa niyo. Thank you for your unfailing, untiring, and most especially unchanging commitment to serve God, to spread out the good news during this challenging moment because of pandemic. Again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? Na sa magang ito, nais ko pong ipagpatuloy ang ating series patungkol po sa powerful promises over pandemic. At nais ko pong hanguin ang ating passage ngayon sa Daniel chapter 2 verses 5 to 6. At basahin ko po ito sa NLT. Ganito pong nakasulat. But the king said to the astrologers, I am serious about this. If you don't tell me what my dream was and what it means, you will be turned limb from limb, your houses will be turned into hips and rubble. But if you tell me what I dream and what the dream means, I will give you so many wonderful gifts and honors. Just tell me the dream and what it means. Sa umagang ito, ang specific na topic natin na gusto kong talagayin na ibigay ni Lord para po sa inyo ay ito, from breaking to blessings, pagpalainawa ni Lord ang kanyang salita. Don't you know that God is the God of blessing, especially He is the one in the business of moving us from breaking to blessing. Alam mo bang pattern yan sa buong Biblia? Bago sila pinagpala, sila po ay giniba muna sa mabing dinorog. Like for example, the life of Job. Grabe! Naubos lahat mong kayamanan. Hindi pa sapat yun. Namatay ang sampo mong napakabait, ang pupugi, ang gaganda, 
ang babait, ang tatalino, sabay-sabay in one day. And then, hindi patapos yun. Nagkasakit si Hob nang hindi mo maipaluanag na sakit mula ulo hanggang talampakan. And then, one day, ang pinakamasakit ay ito. Maybe ay bearable pa yung iba. Pero yung pinakamasakit na ito, one day lumapit ang kanyang minamahal na kabiyak sa buhay at sinabihan. Sumpahin mo na ang iyong Diyos and then mamatay ka na. Hindi natin masisi si Mrs. Hope. Why? Grabe yung pinagdadaanan nila. Ang good news sa ito, hindi natapos ang kwento sa difficulty, sa adversary, sa breaking. But they were able to move from breaking to blessing. Why? Our God is in the business of moving us from breaking To blessing. Some of you, you are in the breaking period. And I have a good news for you. Kung ginawa ni Lord yan kay Hob, kay Joseph the Dreamer, kay Daniel, kay Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego, it proves to me, God can move you from breaking to blessing. Congratulations. Naalala ninyo yung gumawa si Lord ng Himala, pinakain niya ang limang libo, di kasama sa bilang ng mga bata at mga babae. So kung isama mo yung makabataan at mga babae, obviously aabot daw sila ng 20,000. Pero pinakain ni Lord sa limang tinapay lang at dalawang isda. Pero ang gusto ko doon, not so much doon sa lima lang, and din nagkasya at sobra-sobra pa, kundi yung proseso, yung sequence noong miracles. Alam natin, ang may-ari noong tinapay at isda ay isang bata. Pinigay niya kay Lord. At nung nasa kamay na ng ating Panginoong Isus, ang tinapay at dalawang isda, ang ginawa niya, brinate muna niya to into small pieces. And next after that, He bless the breaking, the broken bread. Hindi na una yung blessing bago yung breaking. Eh, grabe rin yung masaka niya nung nakita ko. Friends, your life is not a life of blessing. It's not a life which is overflowing blessing to others. Unless the Lord will break our pride, will break our carnality, will break our sinful nature, unless the Lord will move us from carnality to spirituality, unless the Lord can move us from insecurity to security, unless the Lord can move us from pride to humility, Karamihan sa breaking, ang purpose niyan to form our character so that we will become like Christ and then you will experience blessing. So, ito yung napansin ko habang inaral ko itong topic na to. Sometimes, no breaking, no blessing. More breaking, more blessings. Congratulations if you are in a breaking period. Why? That's your temporary address. It is not permanent address of your life. Allow God to move you. How? Learn the development of your character. Allow God to develop your character. The moment you do that, you will not stay longer in the breaking period and you will move up to blessing period. Can we say amen for that? Now, ito po ang sinabi ni Rick Warren. Sabi niya, when God blesses us with success, He tests us with stress. Kitang-kita mo yan na pattern sa buhay ng mga heroes of faith, especially sa buhay ni Daniel at nung kanyang tatlong close na barkada. Okay? So the first principle, so that the Lord can transfer us from breaking to blessing. Gusto mo ba to? This is the first principle. Commit yourself to prayer. One day. Nung bihag po sila, si Daniel at ang kanyang tatlong barkada, ng Babylonia for 70 years, na nagini pang hari, pinatawag niyang lahat na kanyang mga advisors, mga cabinet members na napakatalino, at kasama doon, si Daniel at ang kanyang tatlong barkada. Sabi niya, 
doon sa mga astrologers, mga advisors, the wisest people in Babylon. Sabi niya, na naginip ako kagabi. Sabihin niyo sa akin ang kahulugan. Hindi lang yun. Sabihin niyo sa akin muna, ano ang aking panaginip, anding kahulugan ng panaginip. Kapag nasabi niya yun, katakot-takot ang mga reward na ibibigay ko po sa inyo. Sabi ng mga wisest advisors niya, Sir naman, di pa pwede yun. Walang marunong, matalinong taong kayang sabihin sa inyo kung ano yung panaginip ninyo. Ang kaya lang po namin, ipaliwanag kung anong kahulugan. Napaka-strong nung hari. Sabi niya, kung hindi niyo masabi in the first place kung ano yung panaginip ko kagabi, tapos na ko ito. Papatayin ko kayo at papatayin ko yung buong pamilya mo. Buo ninyong pamilya sa grabe itong hari na to. Si King Nebuchadnezzar. So ano nangyari? Nung i-execute na nila yung patayin ng lahat ng mga advisors niya, kasama na dito si Daniel at ang kanyang tatlong barkada, nung nalaman to ni Daniel, nakiusap siya, sabi, ano nangyari? Kasi wala siya doon nung tinatawag sa kinuwinto nung mag-execute doon sa pagpatay. Sabi niya, ito yung nangyari. Sabi niya, Ah, pakisabi sa mahal na hari, give me one day and then I will explain to him the meaning of his dream and also kung ano yung panaginip niya last night. Bigyan mo kami ng isang araw. Ah, naniniwala naman yung ah, officer na mga sundalo, hindi sila pinatay, bumalik sa hari, kinwento sa hari. And then pagkatapos noon, nagmamadali si Daniel, kinausap niya ang kanyang tatlong barkada at ito ang nangyari. Commit yourself to prayer. Friends, napansin ko to. Sa mga Christian na successful, panalo, ang kanilang unang tugon sa bawat problema, ang kanilang unang aksyon sa bawat problema, hindi umiyak, hindi maging malungkot, kundi tumawag sa taas. Yun ang ginawa exactly ni Propita Daniel. Natingnan natin yung passage. Sabi rito, basahin mo na natin sinabi ni Dr. Billy Graham about prayer. Sabi niya, in the morning, prayer is the key that opens to us the treasures of God's mercies and blessings. Grabe. In the evening, it is also the key that shuts us up under the protection and safeguard. Anong sinasabi ni Dr. Billy Graham? Sabi niya, ang prayers sa umaga, yun yung nagbubukas sa habag at pagpapala ng Diyos para makarating sa atin. Ano yung susi na yun? Ang pananalangin tuwing umaga. Paggabi naman, ang pananalangin daw, yun yung mag-close sa protection ni Lord sa atin para kapag may atake. Kasi kapag gabi, tulog po tayo. Wala tayong magagawa doon sa pang-atake ng demonyo sa atin. Ang good news, the moment we pray, susi yung prayer para buksan natin ang kapangyarihan ni Lord at ang bodega sa langit para ingatan tayo ng Diyos. So one thing I learned dito, God is a blessing God. God is a protecting God. So, valid in order to activate His blessing, in order to activate His protection, we need to pray like Prophet Daniel. Can we say yes to that? Now look at this verse. Okay? Sabi po ng Daniel chapter 2 verse 18 to 20. He urged them to ask the God of heaven. Show them His mercy by filling them the secret so that they would not be executed along with the other wise men of Babylon. 19. That night, the secret was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Indeed, God answers prayer. Nung sila nagpipray, nung gabi na yun, pinahayag ng Diyos sa langit kung ano ang panaginip ng hari at pangalawa, ano ang kahulugan noong Panaginip. Kung sinagot ng Diyos ang prayer ni Propita Daniel at ang kanyang tatlong kaibigan, it proves to me na sasagutin ni Lord ang iyong panalangin. Why? Walang tinatangi ang Diyos. That's why 
hang on, don't give up, don't stop praying for the salvation of your loved ones, for, the, for your success, for your significance, for your safety. Why? Yung tatlong is na yun, kalooban ni Lord habang andito pa tayo sa mundo ito. Now, very interesting ang naobserbahan ko sa passage na ito. Bakit? Kasi according to this passage, si Daniel ay binigyan ni Lord ng special ability. Look at this verse. Sa Daniel chapter 1 verse 17, in LT, ganito yung nakasulat. God gave these four young men, ito na is Daniel, Sadrach, Mesa, Dabinigo, unusual aptitude for understanding every aspect of literature. Grabe! Tawag noon ito, parang linguistic o mga linguist na mga tao. And wisdom. Lahi yata ni King Solomon to. Grabe. And God gave Daniel the special ability saan? To interpret meanings of visions and dreams. So hindi lang sa ginagbinigyan ng abilidad na ipaliwanag ang kahulugan ng pangitain at panaginip. kundi special ability. Napansin ko, although pinagkaloob ni Lord ang ganitong katangian to interpret dreams and vision, subalit nagpipray pa rin sila. Hindi lang siya nagpipray, kundi kumuha siya ng prayer partners para malaman niya kung ano yung panaginip ng hari at ipaliwanag ang totoong kahulugan. Grabe, ito yung natutunan ko, friends. Each one of us, may kanya-kanya tayong talento. May kanya-kanya tayong abilidad. May kanya-kanya tayong potensya. Pero minsan, ito yung problema natin na hindi natin ginawa. Tulad sa ginawa ng apat na magkaibigan. We don't pray to God to bless our talent, to bless our abilities, to bless our potential. So that, so that, lalo pa tayong effective at efficient and the result ay significance and success. Dito ko lang natutunan. Potential is good but not enough. Abilities are good but not enough. Talents are good but not enough. Spiritual gifts are good but not enough. In order to be enough, We need to partner our talents with prayer because potential alone speaks of endless possibilities. But the moment mag-partner ang potential at prayer, impossibilities become possible. Woo! Sobra! Nagsisi ako nung nabasa ko to. Oo. Kaya dito nilagay ko, when potential and prayer go together, impossible becomes possible. Can we say, yes, friends, praise God, kung ang dami mong talento, ang dami mong abilidad, ang dami mong spiritual gifts, pero hindi siya sapat. In order for impossible become possible, partner prayer with your potential. Be a person a prayer that God wants you to be. Okay? Now, the second thing, the principle na ating gagawin so that the Lord can move us from breaking to blessing. Ito, commit yourself to promote God. Ulitin ko po, commit yourself to promote God, not to promote yourself, instead to promote God. One thing I learned, nung pinag-aralan ko po ang topic na ito, ay ito. When we are committed to promote God in every circumstance of life, God also is committed to promote us. Grabe yan! Ang galing yan, friends. Why? Promotion comes from the Lord. Pero napansin ko kapag i-promote natin si Lord, i-exalt natin si Lord, hindi lang in time of success, but even in time of suffering. Friends, God is also committed to exalt us, to honor us, to promote us. Sino dito gusto ma-promote? Allow God to promote you. What is the key? Promote God in every 
every area of your life, especially during this pandemic. Can you partner with us to exalt God, to spread out the good news, can we say in the Lord? Look at this verse, verse 27 and chapter 2 in LP. Daniel replied, There are no wise men, enchanters, magicians, or fortune tellers who can reveal the king's secret. But there is, look at the word, but there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets and he has shown King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in the future. Now I will tell you your dream and the visions you saw as you lay on your bed. Grab! Pinakita dito ni Daniel ang realidad regardless kung gaano natin kagaling, katalino, ka-resourceful, ka-innovative, ka-creative. Sabi niya, hindi natin alam lahat tulad sa panaginip mo kagabi, sir. Pero mayroong nakakaalam. Sino yon Yung Diyos. Na lumalang sa langit at lupa. Diyos na pinaglingkuran ko. Diyos na winorship namin at pinagdarasalan namin kagabi. And last night, nireveal niya. Kung ano yung panaginip mo at kaulugan ng yung paginip. Panaginip. What? a liberating passage. Dito pinakita, regardless kung gaano natin kagaling, katalented at anointed, friends, we are very limited. And good news, the moment God pushes us to our limit, whoo, that's the time that we are in the right place and the right position that we can experience our unlimited God. Grabe! Sa panahon na malapit na silang mamatay, alam mo kung ilang taon sila, si Daniel at ang kanyang tatlong kaibigan, 15 years old. But look at the disposition of life. Look at the commitment of life. Look at their lifestyle. They are so mature. Grabe, kaya nakita ko, natutunan ko, wala sa edad ang maturity. Pwede kang mag-mature as a person kahit bata edad. Pwede kang napakatandang edad, pero hindi nag-mature as a person. Dito, inigsult ni Daniel ang Diyos. Para kapag nahulaan niya ang panaginip ng hari at napaliwanag niya ang kahulogan the credit ay hindi mapupunta kay Daniel kundi kay Lord na may knowledge para hulaan ang panaginip Friends are you a Christian that has a commitment to promote God don't promote yourself because the moment you are committed to promote God, this God of the universe, the creator of all things, the controller of all things, the upholder of all things, the sustainer of all things, He is committed to promote you. In every suffering, in every sadness, in every significance, in every success, promote God. How? In one way, worship God every now and then. In every circumstance of life, focus to God. And that's worship. You can worship God by thanking God. You can worship God by singing a song. You can worship God by describing kung sino siya sa buhay mo. Like for example, Lord, you are my contentment. You are my life. You are my success. You are my significance. You are my everything. You are my future. You are my fruitfulness, effectiveness, and efficiency. Efficiency. The moment you do that, you are worshiping God. Sad to say, sorry. May mga taong kapag madaling exalt si Lord, i-worship si Lord kapag may success. Pero hindi na nila na-worship si Lord kapag may problema. Si Daniel, 
regardless sa kanilang kabat murang edad. Grab! They worship God. They exalt God. And look at the result. Isa sa mga take home ko. When we promote God even in the midst of our pain. Look at the result. Pressure and problems. The God of power promotes us. Kung magtanim ka to exalt God, aani ka, the God of universe will exalt you. Congratulations. Kung hindi mo pa commitment, lifestyle, to exalt and promote God in every circumstance of your life, ask the grace of God to exalt Him in every circumstance of your life. And God is committed to exalt you. Wow! Lastly, I will end. Ano yung dalawang principle na una? Commit yourself to come to Christ. Second, commit yourself to exalt God. And lastly, commit yourself to help others. Woo! Napakaganda nito. Sobra! The principle so that the Lord can move us from breaking to blessing. Wag mo lang ang focus mo sarili. Stop being the center of the universe. Oh, stop being selfish. Make yourself an instrument of helping others. Wow. Ito po ang mabasa sa Daniel chapter 2 verse 48 to 49 NLT. Then the king appointed Daniel to a high position and gave him many valuable gifts. Ito na yung sabi ko. From breaking to blessing. Grabe! Binigyan na na napakadaming mamahaling regalo. Siyempre, dahil hari ang nagbigay. At sila yung pinakamagapangyarihan na empire at that time. Ang binigay nito, hindi pipitsugin, mamahalin. At hindi lang isa, kundi napakadami. And wait for a minute, hindi pa tapos. Mayroon pang bonus. Ano yun? Prinumot si Daniel sa pinakamataas na position sa empire ng Babylonia. Yun yung sinasabi ko. God is in the business of moving us from breaking to blessing. Maybe masakit yung pinagdadaanan mo. Whether directly as a product of this pandemic or indirectly as a product of this pandemic. But friends, don't close hope. Don't close door. Or worse, don't give up your relationship with God by committing suicide. Why? God is not true with you. Your situation right now is not your permanent address. God is moving. Kahit hindi mo siya naramdaman, hindi mo siya nakita. Iilan sa mga nakarinig sa akin, ikaw tinutukot ko. Kahit hindi mo siya naramdaman, hindi mo siya nakita. God is moving from breaking to blessing. Now, dito look at this. Sa verse 49, may ginawa si Daniel. After receiving the precious, valuable, so much gifts and the highest position in the land, ginawa niya ito. And Daniel request the king. Ano yung request niya? Grabing galing nito. Pumatayo ba lahibo ka dito? Request the king, appointed Sir Grat, Misha Kanabidiko, to be in charge of all the appeals in the province of Babylon, while Daniel remained in the king's court. Anong ginawa niya? Sa panahon ng tagumpay, hindi niya sinarili ang tagumpay. Alala niya ang kanyang tatlong kaibigan. Sandra, Misha, Kanabidiko. That's a vivid application of love your neighbor as you love yourself. Sinira ni Daniel yung kasabihan ng mga successful na tao. It's lonely at the top. Bakit lonely? 
kasi hindi sila nagsishare sa kanilang victory. Hindi nila sinishare ang kanilang significance. Hindi nila sinishare ang kanilang achievement. Hindi nila sinishare ang kanilang success. Pero si Daniel sa kabila ng lahat na 15 years old, oh, grabe yung disposition, napakamatch yung word na Christian. Sabi niya, Sir, thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for this highest promotion, highest possession. But can I request? Manatili ako dito sa inyong palasyo as your one advisor. Kaya na lang ninyo ng aking tatlong kaibigan ang hawak sa mga trabaho, responsibilities na gusto mong i-assign sa akin sa problems. Siyempre, nahulaan ni Daniel ang kanyang panaginip at napaliwanag niya kung anong kahulugan. Sa sobrang saya ng hari, sino siya na hindi ibibigay ang request ng tao nag-solve sa kanyang problema. Natulungan niya ang hari, natulungan pa niya ang kanyang tatlong kaibigan. Friends, we were created to love one another. In fact, the command, we are not commanded to be loved. Instead, we are commanded by God to love. Meaning, we are not looking to receive an experience love. But we are, we are instrument so that others will experience God's love. Ooh, Ang good news sa ito, the moment you give love, Nagtanong ka ng pag-ibig, therefore, aani ka ng pag-ibig. And the principle of suing ay ito. Yung tinanim mo ay hindi the same na babalik, kundi babalik not just addition, but multiplication. Can you say amen for that? That's why yung nagtanim ng isang sakong palay na bini, ang harvest niya, sa ngayon sa technology ng agriculture sa Pilipinas, ay 100 to 150 ka ba? Isang sako lang. Mag-antay lang sila ng tatlong buwan. And they will harvest 100 to 150 ka ba? Friends, kapag nagtanim ka ng pag-ibig, what God is saying, I want you to experience more love. Pero ang una mong gawin, plant love. Plant help para mar Marami kang marireceive at anihin na tulong sa iba. Yun ang ginawa ni Daniel. And then ito yung nabasa ko. It changed my life nung nabasa ko po ito. And I will end. Sabi po ni Zig Ziglar, one of the most popular motivational speakers sa Amerika, sabi niya, you can have everything in life you want if you will just help other people Get what you want. Grabe mo sabi niya. Makukuha mo. Lahat na gusto mo. Kapag tulungan mo ang iba na makuha nila ang kanilang gusto. That's love one another. That's helping one another. That's serving one another. That's why yung word na one another sa Bible, how many times na inulit-ulit yan? Friends, you're not designed to grow alone. You were designed, we were designed to grow together because God is the God of community. Genesis 1.26 sabi niya, let us, hindi niya sinabi, let me, let us make man in our image. Plural lang ginamit. God is the God of community. And also, we will grow not alone, but in community. Ito po yung take home ko. And I will end. When you help others, you help yourself more. Why? Nagtanim ka ng tulong kapag gumalik sa iyo ang tulong. Pero hindi the same size. Hindi the same yung dami. Kundi nadagdaga na at multiply pa. Maybe ang dahilan kung bakit wala tayong tulong na natanggap mula sa langit at sa paligid natin kasi hindi tayo tumulong sa tagumpay ng iba. Hindi tayo tumulong sa protection ng iba. Hindi tayo tumulong sa significance ng iba. Friends, what you have, what it takes 
to help others. Kung gusto mong gawin to, the Lord will move you from breaking to blessing. Ang una mong dapat gawin, you must have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Kung ikaw ang tinutukoy ko, open your heart and accept Him as your personal Savior. And most especially, your CEO, your Lord. Kung gusto mo yan, follow my short and powerful prayer. And this is the prayer. Can you close your eyes? Lord Jesus, I open my heart and I accept you as my personal Savior and Lord. From now on forward, help me to drive my life. Bring me into the reason of my existence, into my purpose. Please forgive my sins. Sorry for running away from you instead of running towards you. Thank you very much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Kung ginawa mo to for the first time, please PM me. I accept Christ today and I will help you to grow. We will grow together upon this journey, Christian maturity. I will pray for each one of us. Sino dito may pinagdadaanan? Ilagay niyo ang inyong kanang kamay sa inyong didib or balikat and I will pray for you. Our perfect, powerful, concerned, caring, compatible, consistent Father. I ask in Jesus' name. Mga nanay or tatay, mga professional, negosyanteng may pangailangan. I ask you, extend your hands of mercy and help and grace. Help them, Lord. Allow them to experience one more time the freshness of your mercy and your grace. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, I pray, I apply the blood of Jesus sa bawat isa, Panginoon, sa kanilang pamilya. I pray for significance, security, safety, and success. Hindi lang sa words of life, Marina, kundi words of life as a whole, especially yung mga partners namin sa ministry. Thank you so much. Bless us indeed. Expand our territory and protect us from evil one. In Jesus' name, to God be the glory. Amen and amen. I'm so excited to see you next Sunday. Pagpalain ni Lord, ikaw at ang iyong lovable and blessed family. God bless everyone. Mga kapatid, maraming salamat sa pagsama sa ating online worship service. Nawa ay naging masaya kayo at nabless kayo sa mensahe at pag-awit ng ating mga pagpunit sa salamat sa ating Panginoon. Patuloy po nating nakilain ang ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay natin ng handog at ikapo. Ang informasyon kung paano po ito ay makikita sa inyong screen. Muli po, lagi natin tandaan na sa pandemya na ating tinatahak, Patuloy tayo magtiwala sa Panginoon dahil hindi hindi niya tayo tiwala. Muli po, maraming salamat at God bless po sa ating lahat.